Y'all know what time it is, y'all. I got a Waco legend in the building. Matter of fact, not just a Waco legend, a worldwide legend, man. King Troy in the building. KT Cool. Waco, Waco, what it do? Let's get to it, man. Man, big ups to you, big homie, man. Good to see you in the building, man. For real, for real. It's a blessing to have you. I know you, uh, you know what I'm saying, got a busy schedule. You know, you just popped into the city, man, for a few days, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I had to catch you. Yes, sir, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the, the streets is greasy and we slide, baby. Hey, we sliding. I'm talking about sliding, sliding. You know, a lot of yeah, people don't yeah. know, man. We got a, we got one cool relationship, man. We, we do a lot of stuff, you know what I'm saying, together. And uh, it's always been a blessing to be able to, you know, kick it with you. I even got a chance to go out there to Arizona. You know, bro's in, he's from Waco, but he lives out in Arizona right now, you know, and so... I got a chance to go out to Arizona, you know, a couple of years back and was able to come to your home, and I yeah. appreciate that, man. Yeah. And, you yeah, know, good time, man. Yeah, we did. We so, did. Yeah, yeah, man. Hey, I'm going to tell y'all, man, bro living good out there. I'll just tell you that. <laughs> Everything's straight. That's hey, the show. You got palm trees in your backyard. You're doing something right. <laughs> in your front yard. Yeah. <laughs> now, it's a blessing, man. Now, I, love, I love the energy, you know, that you that you bring when you're around. When you, when you, KT, KT cool, the type of person, y'all, when he enter the room, it's just an aura of energy that walks in with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really, really, hip-hop is just all over you and all in you. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It ain't yeah. something that you put on that's been in you for years. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, Thank God, yeah. Yeah, man, we yeah. go way back. For people that don't know, you, Mr. KT Cool, man, is one of the uh, founding members of DSD, mm -hmm. Down South Deficit. Yeah. Y'all boys, man, with one of the first rap groups to ever get a deal. You know what I'm saying? Starting out, when y'all first got started, man, so round of applause for that. So when, when was that when y'all signed the deal? Was that like Top Notch Records y'all went on? Yeah, yeah, we ran that. We ran that with Top Notch Records and uh, Aphrodisiac Records also. Okay, okay. That's Aphrodisiac. a collab collaboration between um, Waco and Houston. Okay, yeah. And it worked. It was, hey. it was a great, you know. Yeah, you guys were like one of the yeah. first to have that, that bridge built. From eight, you know, from Waco to H Town. Yeah, man. Yeah, seriously. It, you, it really, it really, think about it. Really went down. Yeah, it was like it, it was like Biggie said. It was really all a dream. You know what I'm saying? We was looking at Houston, but but we really we really caught it. We caught that wave like right on right on time. Yes, sir. Like school was just really taking off with what the streets was really paying attention to him, and he was on fire. And then Key was just not coming up. Mm -hmm. We were just not coming up at our fair right play, man. It was, it was crazy. Man, round of applause for that. I mean, yeah. you know, to be right there in that era of music when that all came about, it's just amazing. Because I seen something today on Facebook. It's ironic that you're here today because I seen something on Facebook today where that you were actually on that trip with Hawk and a couple of other artists, Lil Oak, some more guys. Mike D. Yeah, yeah Mike D was, D was D out D there. Up. And they said that DJ Screw was supposed to be with you guys, but he missed his flight. Dang, I didn't even know that. Crazy. I seen this on oh, Facebook. Wow. That's the first time I heard that. Man. Yes, they said they said I screw. Mess with screw. I done been to I done been to the screw. I done been to the screw house. You see, a lot of people can't say they've been to the screw house. Yeah. See, I've been there. I just right. it's, it's ironic that this just happened today on Facebook. And let me tell you what I did because they they talked oh, about it crazy. and they really just was talking about the H Town artist that was on that trip and they was like, this is the trip we went to to uh, to the basement with Tigger and Screw missed his flight. And I was like, hold on, that's the same trip that KT Cool was on with Lil O and everybody. Man. And I tagged your name in it, and I put your name, I let them know. I said, don't forget about KT Cool from Waco yeah. on that trip as well. So I yeah. tagged you in it, I let them know. Yeah. It wasn't just all Ace Town on that trip. Yeah, that's cool, miss. Hey, come you know, on now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody in Ace Town that always include me as well. Like whenever these little clips and stuff pop up, people that do remember to include my name on that shout out to all of them. Cause it's been so much love in Houston, you know what I'm saying? Over yeah, the man, we love the H, man. I yeah. love the H. I lived yeah. out there for a little while myself, man. Yeah. I was out there living off Chidwell and Antoine, you know what I'm saying? For real. Like, we was out there that off, man. So, so it was it a was move, love. though. Yeah. So it was a move for Waco to be able to slide in on such or something so special. Man, you were out there with Hawk, the legendary Hawk that's passed on. Yeah. Like I said, Mike D. I mean, it, was just, yeah. it was just a blessing, bro. Like, yeah, big Pokey, man. Big Pokey. Pokey, Wait, was, Pokey was there, too? Yeah, Pokey, wow, yeah, yeah. man. Pokey, that's Pokey, man. Little old. We all we all was all on the same flight too. And that was our, so that was super cool. That was all their first time going out there as well, being mm -hmm. on Rap City. Yeah. The basement. Yeah. Cause Cause back then, first time, man. Cause back then they wouldn't just put rappers on from the south like that. You know what I'm saying? To be yeah. on shows like that. Like especially yeah. you guys, like you might have had ghetto boys maybe on yeah. there, you know what I'm saying? Cause they sold out MTV. They was like one of the first groups from Texas to be on MTV yeah. and stuff like that. And then y'all yeah. were like right there after that with that with Rap City at the basement, man, with Tigger, man. So that was really cool, man. So I got to give y'all your flowers and salute you to your face on that, man. Big, yeah, 
Big ups, man. man. It was crazy, bro. Getting down there. Uh, you know, we, we slid up in there and had this, uh, we had this, uh, this, this room, like one of them old motels. They set us up in before we got to, D- uh, before we got to, uh, actually got to, uh, to Washington, man. So we had a good time just messing around in the city, man. Yeah. Went to the mall and stuff, kicked it. And after the show, uh, I mean, after we did the BET, man, we kicked it with Lil' Kim and Junior Mafia all night. No. Oh, it was lit, man. Wow, yeah. man. See, these, these are real, 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 real history stories, man. Yeah, I just hear stories. It's history right here, man. Yeah. You know, you guys really put uh, on for the city, you know, H-Town and for the code. You know what I'm saying? That was yeah. a blessing, man. So for you to be able to be the first person from this city to be in Rap City Ticket in the basement, man, how did that make you feel, bro, to be in that booth to do your... You know, spit those rhymes like you did up in there, man. It made me feel respected, man. It made me feel like, you know what I'm saying, however much we look up, I've looked up to me personally, the West Coast and the East Coast, for delivery and lyricism and just style in general, everything that they brought to the game for Texas to be able to be recognized as lyricists. Uh, we putting on with our culture, how we dress, you know what I'm saying, how we roll. It was beautiful. Man. To be acknowledged for all of us to be acknowledged in that way, yeah. KT Cools in the building, man. AKA King Troy, man, in the building, yes, man. Sir. Where can they follow you real fast when we go to these jams? We're going to get to the countdown right now and talk for more in a minute. Oh, man. All my Facebook family, friends, and fans, man. Check me out. I'm King Troy Griffin. King Troy Griffin. Yeah, I'm man. I let the boy go on that Instagram. You know what I'm saying? Check with me on that IG. It's Meet the Cuban. T H E M E E T. C-U-B-A-N, meet the Cuban. That's what it is, y'all. Keep it locked. We're going to get to some jams for the countdown right now. We got the number four record, y'all. Ladies checking in, KT. We got that scissor with Saturn coming up. In, uh, oh, man, I love that jump. Man, shout out to my boy Gio Body the King, man, on the cam, holding it down behind the scenes. Y'all go follow him right now. And ladies, turn up. This y'all jam, scissor, Saturn. We're going to talk some more with King Troy, man. Meet yes, the sir. Cuban in the building, a.k.a. KT Cool. Keep it locked. I'm balling this away, go, hopping this away, go, we got it like a Waco. Man, that's that jam, man, Waco classic right there, baby, no Waco, place man. like home, man, I'm love, man, there you go, I got you on now, man, what's up? I'm we from Waco, man. Texas tapping in, y'all, King Troy, meet the Cuban, a.k.a. K.T. Cool, man, down south deficits on DSD, man, for the people that don't know what that means, it ain't what y'all should know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the building, man. Let's talk a little bit about DSD now, man. Shout out to your whole team, part of the DSD crew, man. Shout them out. Yeah, what up, three seven three downside deficit, man. That's what it is, yeah, man. My boys, man. We started the group back in like probably started messing around about ninety seven, ninety eight, really, man. Mm. You know, it was history after that, man. Man, what? Well, I'm talking about history, man. Real yeah, history, yeah. Yeah, not just historic history. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Got went down there, man. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm with them cash money boy, real tough. That was that was a real dope experience, man. Um, I was gonna touch into that too, man, because you know when y'all had the down south deficit record. Now let's rewind back right quick. <laughs> How did it all start to where that y'all actually got a chance to uh, get in with Cash Money Records and do a record with them? Like, were you guys working in the studio and your record label had a connection with them that made that bridge build or? They heard you guys and wanted to rock with you guys. How did that all come about? Yeah, it was the management we had, man. We just had a good team. We had a management that was just, you know, good friends with them. We had a couple of people that just knew that was really close to them. So it really wasn't like a, you know what I'm saying? It was more of a family thing, right? Go, so so go. it really, really went really smooth. Go. You know, them boys was already on fire, man. It, yeah. It wasn't easy to just try to, nah, that wasn't no that, easy that, play. That's what I'm saying. I remember, yeah. I remember like, like vividly, man, back yeah. during that time, Cash Money was, that's when they were really like on fire, for yeah. real. Yeah. When Lil Wayne was talking about five men back then, they were the five men. They were really, really yeah. taking off. And did y'all get with them before they got the big universal deal or was it right after? Which one was it? Do you remember? I want to I wanna think we got with them right before. That's what I thought. I think uh, I really thought that too. But um, I think they was on a it was on the brink of that though, mm-hmm. because uh, they was big timers by then. Yeah, they started. You know, in- they still they was big timers by then. So yeah, yeah, you're right, you're yeah. right. That's when they were just getting that those different different mm-hmm. acts up under the record label that's coming out. Yeah, they was stuff. branding that name for Bird, Birdman and Manny to jump their thing off. So yeah, you know, we got right in. Right it around that crazy. time. Yeah, it was crazy to get a record with the big timers versus anybody was just cool to. You know, baby, man, yeah, that was, that yeah. Was, we weren't planning on, we didn't know what, we, we just wanted to do something with somebody from the camp. Yeah. But, man, to be Manny and baby, like, yeah, that, that was crazy. That was dope, <laughs> man. And then Manny did the beat, too, right? 
Yep, yep. In the studio with sticky fingers in there. Had the good time, man. He did the beat on the spot. He didn't come in there and play no beats. Man, wow. <laughs> he cooked that sucker right there. Right there on the spot? Yep. Wow. Now, now for that project, y'all got a couple other uh, legends on that album as well, man. The Down South Definitely Project. Who else was all on that, yeah, on that project? Yeah, boy, little Kiki the Don, man. I knew you yeah, had. Yeah. so much love, Kiki, man. So, so love. So, we had uh, a song called Can't Be Stopped. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, he messed with us, man. He thought we was hard. Yeah. You know, he liked our style, you know, open, open arms. So, yeah, we ride with Kiki, and then we came back with the Down South Killers. And with ESG, man. Man, if what? You know, if you want to hear a class of ESG verse, man. listen to that Down South Deficit, boy. That boy ain't that thing. Man, I got to go back and listen to that one myself. Yeah. I, I slept on that one. And that, that, man, I remember that, though. You know what I'm saying? That was a yeah, dope record. It, 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 it aged like wine. You know what I'm saying? You know, because I ain't going to lie. My favorite record that y'all had, man, was y'all own record. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know? You know, I love the, you know the, the club record, man, the banger that everybody loves right now. It's still to this day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, she freaking yeah, it. Man, what? Yeah. Come on, bro. That, yeah, man, it's still going. Man, it's just, the end of the time, though. That's, that's, boom, that's, boom, 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 boom. Like, the whole vibe was like, man. It was low here this time. That song is timeless, bro. Like, it still plays to this day. Of course, I'm definitely playing it when I'm in the cold, yeah. in the clubs. And when I throw it on, people look at me like, what you know about that? Like, come on, man. I come up on KT. Cool, man. It's ESG, man. So, you know, when I drop that record, they just look at me like, okay, that's what it is, man. So, I love that record, man. Who produced that song, man? I think about it, bro. That record's man, hard, uh, man. Man, homegrown. Ron mm. McLennan, man. Wow, right here Shout the Shout out to E-Rack. Yeah. Okay. Shout out to Cole, man. That's what's up, yeah, man. Ron McLennan, man. Dope, man. That's super dope, man. That's super dope, man. Yep. KT Cool. We got a few real, real legendary, uh, even with my song Ballin', the title of my album, Ballinian. That's homegrown producer, too. Man. That boy, Double, that boy Double M, Michael Wilder, man. Man, the Cole. Legendary. Man, that yeah. How was that? So I was that, getting that heat from home. It wasn't just it wasn't just Houston beats. Now I had a lot of producers out of Houston, some fire boy, but I had them hometown hitters. Man, that ball in yeah. man, still a classic to this day as well, man. You know what? You gonna yeah. make me put that in the deck when I get off the airways today, man. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. <laughs> I got a vibe after that one because that's your, that was your solo project right there that you yeah. came out, and, and that was on top notch as well. Or what yeah, was that? That on? was on top notch as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We rocked that, and then, you know, from now down, did, did my next project after that. That's when we started rocking with Shortstop. Started working yeah, with Troy. Yeah, Troy, so. okay. Man, a lot, a lot of people don't know that King Troy, Mr. A.K.A. KT Cool, you know what I'm saying, A.K.A. Meet the Cuban. I call you Ice Cube but a group, man, because you yeah. did, not only did you do your own verses, but a lot of stuff that you don't even take credit for or even talk about is that you wrote verses for... For some of the group members as well. I'm not going to put anybody on blasting them, but you actually wrote a lot of songs, bro, on the project. Pretty much everything, I mean, is what I've been hearing. Like, you wrote everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. is that true, bro? Like, yeah, you wrote yeah. a lot of the records? Yeah, yeah, I would say, I would say I, I came up probably 90% of it. Yeah, wow. Uh, I would say that. That's not easy to do. That, that, now, that's, now, that's right, you know, obviously, all of us had a collaborative effort so far as maybe uh, concepts or ideas, yeah, 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 just yeah. vibing out like that. Yeah, but putting, I think putting the verses together. Yeah, I think I had a, a, my initial idea was to uh, to get with uh, the lyrical kingpin. We call him uh, Big K. Dope. Everybody know him as Big Keith around the city. Man, so salute, thing, salute, yeah. Big Keith, man. Salute to Big K, man. You know Big what I'm saying? K, man. He really the one that the I want to. I want to, you know, produce him. Yeah, want to write for him and put him out. I thought he was the next Biggie. Man, what? Hey, so, I'm talking about, hey, man, y'all don't understand, man, Big Keithy, man, he, man. he, I feel like, I mean, y'all might be mad at me when I say this, but, I mean, he give Big a big run for his money, let's just say that, you know what I'm saying, Keithy was a big boy that could speak with flavor and finesse, bro, like, yeah, for real, yeah, for real, bro, hard. Hard. and no, no, no disrespect to Big at all, man, give him his flowers for sure. But Big Keithy, man, was our Texas big, big, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that was our Texas big, <laughs> man. He was our big, big, you know, because I can't even say it, man. I can't get the words out. You know he was saying? our Texas like B.I.G., man. Yeah, man, he's big notorious. He's big notorious out here. He, he was notorious on that mic, man. Yeah, so, you know, man. I love that, man. I love so that's that. What I was, that's what I was, my original thing, I did was, but then we had all our homeboys, had his brother Tay, all the other partners, you know what I'm saying, Dave. Wow, hey, what up, man? Wow, hey, what up? You know what I'm saying? So the whole crew, man, we just started putting all our brothers together and, yeah, came up with the, the down south. Love it, man. Love it. We're gonna we're gonna break one of your new records here in a minute, man. We're gonna talk some more, y'all. KT Cool's in the building, man. You know we don't only even talk this long on a, on a Texas two page trees, but hey, we got a legend in the building, man. We gotta give him his flowers, man. Right now, man. I salute you, my brother. 
KT Cool, aka man, meet the Cuban man, K King Troy man in the building, y'all. Yeah, y'all, we finna turn up, man. Get ready for that new heat of hit of the Talk that ish, man. Talk that ish, boy. Yeah, <laughs> love it, man. Gotta love it, y'all. Gotta love it, y'all. In case y'all just joining me, let them know what record that was right there on the radio, my brother. Hey, that was Badless One. Battle is one, man. Now, Get ready. What made you come up with that title for that record, bro? Man, really, man. It's just the struggle, man. We all going through it. And you trying to get to you trying to get to a certain part, certain part of the mission. And I think we, we coming to a close on this project, man. So that was like yeah. one of the last songs I did. It was crazy. I was in the studio. The last couple of songs I did was uh, a song called TLC. It's going to be man. for the players. What? And, and I heard that record. Y'all ain't heard yeah. that one all the way through yet. But that record right there is fire. I think I actually played it one time in the mix, but I ain't officially just broke it, broke it yet. So oh, we lit it now, baby. Ready? I had okay. to take care of the paperwork on That's it. it. That's it. it. I, played, I played it a couple times in the mix. Yeah. It was slid it in on y'all, boy. It's ready now, it's baby. It's ready. Okay, we're going to bring yeah. it back. So that's, that, that, that song, then I did Ballad One. And like I say, Ballad One, is it, man. It's been like a year and a half working on this project, man. So wow. But what's, the name, what's the name of the new project? It's called Therapy Session. Therapy Session, man. Therapy so, Session, yo. So what does that mean? That means yo, yo, when you put this in, it's just going to take you somewhere to, to a place that's just going to get you right? You yeah, right? I, I, I think it's a, yeah, it's a journey for all of us to go on. Okay. But uh, for me personally, um, it's, it's going to touch on all the time that i kind of been off the scene. You know what I mean? So I got it's going to really, it's gonna really give, give everybody what they've been missing. I got you. You know what I'm saying? A I lot of, a lot of the, the turn up, but it's going to be a lot of content, man. I'm really just... Talking about a lot of stuff, uh, reflecting, you know what I'm saying? Get get players something to think about, get a lady something to think about. I got another project, um, it's called Nicest Guy I Know. So I'm, I'm dropping two, you know what I'm saying? I'm dropping two, like, simultaneously. I love and it. I got a spiritual project. So I'm going to bring it full circle. I got three, I got three, man. I got three, man. <laughs> you ain't playing, yeah, bro. Yeah, nah, we finna, hey, once we, once we turn up, man, that's when we turn it down. <laughs> ain't no, no turning down, huh? No, man. That's what it is, y'all. Okay, Preparation, cool. man. Man, preparation. We tapping in. Texas tapping in, man. The homie, man, my brother from another mother, man. If y'all ain't already know, man, in case you just turned the radio on for some strange reason, we got the big homie, man, in the building, man, KT Cool, yeah, yeah. aka King Troy, aka Meet the Cuban in the building, man. Now, why why do they call you Meet the Cuban, man? Meet the Cuban is something I came up with because um, well, even right here at home, man, in Waco, I was at this party. And uh, it's just different age groups and that, but it was older dude, man. My mom was actually there. I think it was like a holiday party something had going on. And Jim was talking, chopping up with my mom. So he, 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 he seen me outside. He knew it was my mom, but he started talking to me outside. He said, man, where you from? I said, I'm, I'm from here. I'm from Waco. He said, man, he look like you a Cuban. So I, I was like, no, man, I'm from Waco, whatever. So then I go out of the state. I go somewhere else. Somebody else asked me why. I was, man, you, are you Cuban? I was like, no, man, why just keep popping up? So it happened to me about three times. So at the end of the day, I thought about it. I thought about it, how, how it, in the game we talk about this music. This music is like our work, you know what I'm saying? Like the streets. So it's like a plug at the end of the day. It's like as long as you can get to the next connection, somebody to put you on in a positive way, help you push yourself to the next level in life, you can be the Cuban or somebody else could be the Cuban. I like Either that. Either way. But just, so it's King Troy meet the Cuban. It's like King Troy meet DJ C. Sites. King Troy meet Giovanni. So I'm meeting the person that's trying to help me get to the next level. Man, plug, plug. Yeah. I love it, man. Yeah. I love it, man. So love anybody it. could be the Cuban, so you know. Yeah. <laughs> now King Troy, man, bro, you been you been putting it down for for a minute as far as the music goes. Now, you did some other things as well, man, as far as like being on uh movies and stuff like that. Now, how did that come about, bro? I don't know if you had some songs on some soundtracks and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I had um I started developing my daughter when she was like ten. Okay. 14, we got on tour with like Minds Behavior, OMG Girls, yeah. uh, Jacob Lattimore. She's uh, talented too, y'all. Yeah, she's she super, she super lit, y'all. So check for Halo at Halo Griffin too. Yeah, but yeah so went on from there. She turned 15, I got a job in Los Angeles writing music for TV. Wow. For Come on, man. Cube. Come so, on, man. Wow. Man, we've been rocking, bro, like super wow. hard. Bro, hundreds of songs for TV. So that's what I've been doing, bro. I've been behind the scenes, man. Uh, Lifetime, Bravo, VH1, MTV. We TV, wow. man, you name it, man. Um, we got a song on uh, Vanderpump Rules MTV soundtrack. Mm. Uh, man, we just been working. Uh, I know, I know a lot of people are familiar with their show on Lifetime. Bring it, yeah, yeah. You know, with the Trudy competition, uh, dancers. Yeah, we got like five seasons on there. So 
Five yeah, seasons, we did probably, bro? Yeah, we did, we, did, we, did, we did pimp for five years straight. So we've been wow. doing about six or seven years so, now. So, man, see, that's what people don't understand, man. It's such a way to make money in this industry that you don't have to be always in front of the camera, you know what I'm saying, be yeah. behind the scenes like that and still be relevant in the music game and make those connections that you made by doing that, man. So being yeah. on stuff like that, how many other doors has that open for you? Oh, man, it keep, it'll keep on coming. I was able to get my children in the movie and myself mm. as well. Oh. Uh, I, I made some movie directors. I got some uh, uh, opportunities for acting uh, coming in the future. Y'all hear that? Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's super lit, man. Really, wow. I think, I think the, TV, the TV move was great for me. I, I had the experience as an artist. I actually ghostwriting and, and putting a group together like I was able to do. But then once I developed my daughter, that gave me an opportunity to sit in the seat of a CEO, uh, man, you know, a manager, you know, a dad is here for my kid. So, you know, I got some good relationships with people in L.A. Uh, I've been able to uh, go to Def Jam, do some things over there. When Danny Lay first got in, we was able to submit some songs to her, a couple other artists over there. So, yeah, man, it's been lit. Man, you, you definitely, man, my inspiration in this music game, man, from this city. You, you helped me a lot, you know what I'm saying, back when I was actually rapping myself in the group South Mob. We used to do a lot of shows together. I remember one show that always pops in my head that we did out there. Yeah. It was uh, DB8 back then. I yeah, it was lit. His name was on fire, man. It was super lit. Yeah, it was super lit. <laughs> 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 that was I can see calm. that right now. Me too. It almost, it almost made me think about Bailey. Yeah. You know that scene when they come in? <laughs> that's how it was. And it yeah. was lit. Like, it, it just was. like that. It was. That was man. the energy, man. And that was the energy in the building back then. Because see, back man. then, bro. Everybody wasn't doing music. It wasn't a Facebook. It wasn't a Snapchat. It wasn't an Instagram. So really, back then, the artists were just the artists. Like, people that really didn't rap, didn't rap. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Like, yeah. people that really rapped and loved music, those were the rappers. And everybody else, even our trappers back then, they were just trappers. They yeah. weren't rappers. Yeah, they was coming to see us. They come to see us perform. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? They, yeah. We were real, real live stage yeah. rappers that day, back when it wasn't even cool to rap. Like, yeah. you were doing it back then. You know, yeah. you were KT cool when it wasn't even cool well, to I be love, a rapper. You yeah, know what I'm saying? I love that. I love that. The only, the, only, the only people that really made it cool was the street cats. Exactly. Because they, they saw something positive. They did. They, said, they saw us trying to do something with like, And, you know, at the end of the day, it also helped them. You know, transform. I've seen a lot of guys go from, from being in the streets to uh, learning the music industry yeah. or, or different other businesses, you know what I'm saying, to start Promoting. this thing, All this entrepreneurship yes, sir. that we are here today, you know what I mean? Yeah, what man. we want to really do, what I want to say to everybody, man, you know, Waco, everybody, every side, uh, city has its, its good and bad side. But what we need to do is start really trying to acknowledge the growth in this city, man. Yes, sir. It's came we a long way. We're not acknowledging the growth, y'all. Like he game, like look around and really start to see that we we are more than what we than what we think we are. Uh, yes, one sir. of my cousins is a pastor, and he just did that that uh, that sermon about a couple of weeks ago. Man. Mm. Shout out to uh, Reverend uh, Israel Montgomery. But he said, we are more than what we think we are. So think about that, Waco. I like that, man. You make me think about that myself. <laughs> I appreciate that blessing, man. King Troy is in the building, y'all. We get ready yeah. for the 5 o'clock party drive. I don't know how long I'm going to hold him captive up here at the station, but he's in the building with me hanging out. Shout yeah, out to Giovanni the King behind the scenes, man. Gio, set to that mic. Let me know where to follow you at, my brother. Hey, that's perfect, bro. You know, I'm just going. I ain't even writing nothing down. We're just doing this. We're just doing it because it's from the heart. You know, I say, man, I'll tell you, man. Look that guy, man. He's my favorite. He's my favorite. Man. For real. Studio Pilots. Mm. Bet you on the beat. Mm. I was broke as a nick. Leaning on shoulders. They thought no one not. They just wrote me a check. They used to be usually broken in debt. Pulled on my goings and gold on my chest. Went from looking like a dope dealer to a dope fiend. They don't give no respect. Went from looking like a dope fiend to a king. They put my soul in flesh. I burn the flesh and water the soul. Feel like the fluid. I'm hotter than cold. I'm hanging on the beat and not on the stove. On a beat, I'm out of control. Like a cookie with blood running out of his nose. Cool because I know they got it before. When he come in, this music don't drop me no more. Cause I'm running away.